clouds collide to come together, turning soft white into a dingy black. To walk up that hill to the place of the skull, following soldiers and mockers, and one who carried a cross for one unable to carry his own. was left to our own devices to do with him as we wished to tear him apart the clothes of a king scraps of humanity scattered to the wind bits of flesh off his back on this dark and dreary day painted in a bruised purple. Surely God had forsaken him, left him here, cast out of the womb, from the warm garden of birth and taken from the mother's breast and given to this humanity? But he no longer belonged to us. We no longer belong to him. To a mother, he said, this is your son. And to a son, he said, this is your mother. And at this point, they each went their own way. In this place, I stood up. shadow of these figures pressed against the sky, like paper men cut out by scissors. And I saw myself as them. And all the moments of rejection, the stones thrown out from the quarry, polished in the pain and the suffering. And my own cross was too heavy to carry. The weight of my regret and loss pressed heavy upon my chest. The anxiety of wanting to make something more of myself was almost too much to bear. All of my work was a waste. All of my dreams nailed upon that tree. was too much for this crucified king who was made a victim for all of our crimes. A voice for suffering. We emptied our guilt upon him. He became a burden for our shame because we could not bear to take the blame. Because we had rejected God's gift of goodness. Looking up, Jesus cried out to God to hear only deafening silence, bashed and bloody, but bones not broken. He spoke his final words. It is finished. Completed. It was all he could do for us. He poured out his life for people who made a mockery of him. And he hung his head. light ends and the nothingness begins, no longer in the land of the living, but another entrance to be sealed shut, east of Eden, dissolving life.